This is Luann. Today's theme is colors. Colors are everywhere. They are sometimes hard to learn though. Think about the different shades of red, like scarlet and maroon. With blue, we have teal and cerulean, or green, seafoam and jade. Talking about the different color shades introduces new language to your child. You can teach colors through everyday life experiences, like the chair is blue, your shirt is red. Can you find your orange socks? You can have them count the number of yellow bananas on the, in the bunch on the shelf at the grocery store. Today we're going to talk about color mixing with food coloring. Why color mixing? Color mixing can spark curiosity and pave the way to introduce the scientific method. Children will observe, predict and compare, and experiment with cause and effect. Critical thinking skills are encouraged when we ask them questions like, what will happen when we mix yellow and blue? They use problem solving skills when the color they mix doesn't quite turn out like they planned. How can we fix it? Can we fix it? Here we go. What color do you think we will make when we do mix yellow and blue? Let's try it. I'm gonna do a couple drops of yellow. Two drops of blue. did make green. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, now what happens when we mix red and blue? What color will we make? Two drops of red. Two drops of blue. And it's kind of fun to watch the food coloring fall in the cup. You could just sit there and watch it mix for a little while if you want to. be purple <laughs> when you're done. Okay, then you can say, what colors do you think make up orange? Will green and blue make orange? And you could try it if you wanted, wanted to and see what happens. But I'm going to try, put in a couple drops of yellow, a couple drops of red, mix it up. And we have our orange. When you are done mixing your colors, you can drip some on a folded uh, paper towel like I did right here. And your child might enjoy watching the, the water spread throughout the paper towel. It does move kind of fast and it's kind of fun to watch. If you're feeling really creative, you could take a twist tie or a pipe cleaner and make a beautiful butterfly. A couple of good books to read on color mixing is Mix It Up by Hermé Toulet and Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Have fun mixing. Thanks for joining me today.